Hello. What's up, everybody? What up, Facebook, YouTube? You, where are we? What up, YouTube? <laughs> Good morning, Erica and Lisa. How it do? How it do? How it do? How it be? How you be? How your mama be? How you doing? How your mama doing? <laughs> I was on Facebook trying to post a thing saying that I was getting ready to go live and it didn't want to do it. It was making me unhappy. Let's see. Hello? Do you heard me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you, can you, can you? Uh oh. Showing all my business. Showing all my business. <laughs> oh, ads. I wonder why there's ads on now. You know, it's weird though, because I did go in. Can I what? Um, I did go in last night. I was like surprised. Hello, how are you? Um, thank you for stopping by. Give me thumbs up before you go. Um, I was looking on my monetization and none of my lives were monetized. So if anybody goes back and watch the replay, there's no monetization. I kept wondering why in the world is, you know, is my AdSense thing so low? Because usually it's more by now because it's the end of the whatever. But there's no, um, there's no rhyme or reason to it. But anyway, it's good to see everybody. We're going to go through some swatches today. I'm going to show you. I It looks like it's mostly Tarte and Lorac, but there are some random ones thrown in there. I didn't realize that I still have. I'll show you the container here if I can pick it up. It is so heavy. It's mostly Lorac and Tarte. And I know, oh, Lord. Ooh. I have another container full this big. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, we won't talk about uh, my addiction. We'll leave that for another day. My table is kind of cluttered today, so I'm trying to. Well, OK, so I guess that's a good thing. It's a good thing, but it, I don't love it that you have to see them before you can even come in. But anyways, welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. Do you see me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm super thirsty today. I have water and coffee and lemonade over here. All <laughs> right. Porters unite. Exactly. And me and Lisa were watching church earlier. It was so good. Oh, it was so good for Elevation and Life Church. I took a bunch of notes this time so that when I get to my my e-group, I can remember what the sermon was about. I worry about my brain. But I do have on my face. I did not put on eye base, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Are you going to go try to find that brush, Erica? Erica found um, this beautiful Barbie brush that somebody that she knows found at TJ Maxx, and it's so pretty. And since we have the Barbie palette, whoops, right back there, um, it would be a nice addition to go with our Barbies, our Barbie things. I'm looking at my nose contour, and it's looking pretty, pretty sketchy. <laughs> But I'm not good at that. That's that's one of the places I, I am not good. I just pinch my brush and go to up and down the sides a little bit because my bulby nose doesn't contour like most people's noses. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to show me. She got the um, Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette, and it's, it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. But I still have those swatches on my hand, you guys. I left it there on purpose because 
I'm going to be talking about it. Can you believe through all the hand washing? And of course, I didn't put soap directly on it, but through all the hand washing and, and dishwashing and all the things that I did, it, it hung around. I don't know about eyes, but it definitely stayed on my hand. Well, I was going to wait for some people to arrive, but it seems like it's going to be us. And I'm going to try a new way. I'm going to do a, that person that we're not supposed to talk about. I'm going to try to swatch on my hand here because it's so much easier for me to be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm not the whole time looking to see if you can see my arm and, and the whole nine. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and go through um, the palettes, and then when we get finished, I'm going to pull out maybe five or six. I may not go through this entire thing. I think I'm going to go definitely do the Lorac and the Tarte. They are so dusty. Definitely do the Lorac and the Tarte. I gave a lot of my, exactly, the A-Team. Um, I gave a lot of my La Rockaway to my friend Courtney a long time ago. And so I don't have all the pro palettes that I used to have. I just was in a frame of mind of I'm not using these, so let me get rid of them kind of thing. And I kind of wish I would have kept them just for a collection's sake. But anyway, let's go ahead and, and get started. Um, Lorac has a lot of these big pro palettes, and I think they were created mostly for makeup artists just to have. And I know, I think it goes all the way up through maybe six now. These are the Mega Pros. I have the, this is the Lorac Mega Pro original, and this is the Lorac Mega Pro 4, and I kept this because it's pink. Isn't that sad? But anyway, we'll start with the original and let you take a ganders. What I like about these is there's a there is two rows of mattes and two rows of I don't know, it feels like the color's not coming through. Um, and two rows of shimmers. Uh, Lorac mattes are super pigmented and, and most of these are really um, very neutral and they're very similar there's a lot oh man i hate that and there's nothing we can do about it <laughs> you're gonna be nice it's sunday okay <laughs> yeah but they they have stepped up in fact i love i have one i keep in my everyday section and I love this thing the Little Rocks Lux Diamond Palette oh it's gorgeous and I love it I wear it a lot and so I think they're trying to you know do some cooler packaging and okay so the reason I always love this is because there's so many, and I don't think a lot of the, the shades that I like are going to show up showing you, but there's a shade Fawn right here that I love. I love um, Camel was one of my favorites of all time because this is before, you know, a lot of the palettes had transitions. So I would always come to this for transitions. Dusty Plum, Mulberry, Espresso, Orca, these are all beautiful. And for some of the darker ones, there's Wisteria, there's gray, and black is, I mean, you have to be super careful with um, the rock shadows because they are so pigmented that you can go too far really quickly. I was going to look and see if there was a date on the back of this. I got it recently, probably within the last year. Uh... I do not see a date on it. I, I have never looked on the back of a palette trying to find a date, but it was probably, it's within the last two years for sure. Hi, Krista. 
Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you have a good day. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try Camel. And they are smooth as butter. That I mean, uh, smooth as butter, you guys. Just beautiful, beautiful. It's so smooth that it feels like you're not even putting your finger into anything. So beautiful, but you have to be really careful. This is the kind, kind of like ABH where you, you dip your brush in and you absolutely have to tap it off. So this is Camel Dusty Plum. I've already lost track. Why do I do this to myself? I put it on the, I don't, anyway, let's just forget it. Camel Espresso Dusty Plum and Mulberry. So we're going to try the hand swatch. Mulberry. Dusty Plum. I need to get a little bit more of that one. Hi, Marlo. Dusty Plum. Camel. Camel feels so much softer than the others for some reason. That's weird. And espresso. I don't know. It just the colors look so muted to me. Makes me wonder if this was a good idea. <laughs> and then after I take these off, I'm going to do a few shimmers. There's some pretty interesting ones in here. Um, I like a lot of these for inner corner highlights. Like I said, a lot of these I like to use for uh, transitions and just to use it like a complementary palette to something else and just whatever I need, like a white for my brow bone, um, elbow cough, elbow cough, elbow cough. Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Um, like inner corner highlights, brow bone, things like that. Okay, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to go in order this time. Blush. Indigo is such a cool color. Blush. Indigo. Oh, that is so cool. And Smoky Topaz is a really cool brown shimmer. And then I'm going to do deep teal. Ooh. Pretty. I don't know what I have on my finger. Okay. Pretty. Oh, you dabbing. Okay, gotcha. On mine, it says elbow cough. Okay. <laughs> I am too paying attention. Okay. So blush. Beautiful pink shimmer. Very subtle. Indigo, which is so cool. It's like black, but it's got purple, really fine micro purple glitter in it. And this is Smoky Topaz. Ooh, it's like a beautiful taupey brown shade and deep teal, which is kind of like a smoked teal or a burnt teal color. How are the hand swatches looking? <laughs> Rude. Can you see the colors? I don't know. To me, it looks so funky. So, very cool colors. Very functional. Very foundational type of palette. Like a palette that you would like to just have nearby to always use whenever something in your palette is... Um, I, I'm reading everything you're saying. Um, that you would like to have by your side whenever you're doing makeup with a palette that maybe doesn't have what you need in it for 
mats, especially inner corner high, highlights. I would show you, it's got some beautiful inner corner highlights like opal and vanilla and cashmere. But if I showed them to you now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't show. So I'm not going to try to do the lighter ones. Okay, now on to the Lorac Mega Pro 4. And I love this because it was pink, of course. And it's just, this had some unique colors in it. Some colors that I hadn't seen from Lorac before. Again, same format. All these Mega Pros have the same format. Two rows of shimmers, two rows of mattes. This one had a green in it that, whoo, okay, I'm going to do a flamingo, which is a beautiful rosy pink, and mocha. Oh, mahogany is one of my favorite Lorac shades of all time. Mahogany. Woo, it's so pretty. And I'm going to do denim. This is such a cool color, too. Because it really is like a denim color, a really pretty color of blue. So this is flamingo, mocha, denim. No, denim. Good Lord, how do I keep doing this? Flamingo, mocha, mahogany, and denim. You think... Arm swatches would be better. I, I just got through getting out some um, hamburger meat. I think I'm going to make a meatloaf. It's been a really long time. Let me do it. I don't know. I don't know. And I got these swatches on here. Okay, I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. Flamingo that you can't see at all. Mocha. Mahogany. Oh, mahogany. It's almost like, and it's not even showing as pretty. It's kind of like a very muted burgundy and denim. I don't know how swell, how well these swatches are going. I don't think, I don't think I'm happy. Yes, flamingo, and you can't even see it. Let me see if I can swatch it real hardcore on my finger and show you. It's just a very pretty, very light, Dusty pink. So hardy. Let me do some of the. Um, shimmers. Okay, we got this is a beautiful kind of bluish steel silver called fairy tale. Ooh, so pretty. Um, lotus, moss, and peacock is oh, absolutely stunning. Look at those. So gorgeous. So so blind. Okay, this one is fairy tale. I don't know. I feel like I need to be doing this on my hand. I just think this is better. Fairy tale, it is better. Um, lotus. There goes my husband. And. Ooh, I love this. Moss. See, that's just better. And I'm going to do, and this is Peacock. Oh, 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 oh. look at Peacock, y'all. Wow. So freaking pretty. Okay. Wow. So pretty. So I think as Lorac continued on with making palettes, 
especially pro palettes, they started adding some more interesting colors. But like I said, I gave some away. So these are the only two mega pros that I kept. I know there's one that Marla likes. I think it was two that she liked the best. A navy blue one, I think. Peacock is super gorgeous. All right. Um, I've got a, this one is kind of an interesting one. It's called the La Rock Refined Romance. It was a Nordstrom exclusive. They made it, they made it only for, uh, for the Nordstrom sale one year. I don't know what year it was. Obviously, I can't. But anyways, it's a blush contour highlight and a few shadows. It's nothing spectacular. I do really like the blush. The blush is beautiful. Um, I'll do a couple swatches here. I'll do the darker ones that maybe you can see them. My fingers are already stained, but it's just, it's Lorac quality. Maybe I can do a highlight, but I don't think, actually, this is a blush and two highlights. Maybe it'll show. I'll do the lighter of the two. <laughs> wow. That's the highlight, guys. That's why I kept this. I remember now. That's the highlight. It's like, hello. Okay, in a minute, I'm going to take these swatches off my hand, the, the eyeliner swatches. I'll explain to you why. Here's the blush. Here's one of the shadows. They don't have names. But wait till you see the highlight. Bam! Holy crud. I need to get this out. I'm sure I've said to myself, I need to use this for inner corner highlight. That's like, bang, bam, boom. So that's the refined romance, but isn't the packaging so pretty on this? I love it. Hey, Nat. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ooh, that highlight is. Okay. The reason I have these swatches on my hand is because I went to Walmart with my friend. She was getting her COVID shot and I found this eyeliner that I've been looking for and it's the uh, breakup proof. Okay, fine then. Be rude. Um, breakup proof eyeliner by Wet n Wild. It says waterproof, cry proof, humidity proof, smudge proof, fade proof. So I put it on my hand last night and I wanted, the reason I like it, the reason I wanted it is because it's a brush tip and I've been trying to find something that is comparable to this $24 one, this one was like five bucks. And so I put them both on my hand to see the blackness and they are very comparable in blackness. Um, they both, I poured water over on my shit all my little experiments to Erica and Lisa last night. Um, and so I wanted to do, use one on one eye and one on the other to see if they hang around. Well, hi, Nika. That's my mama's friend and my friend now. So glad you made it. I'm sorry if the picture is the one, but on the donk, I don't understand why. I really don't. It must be a, a stream yard thing. But anyways, I'm going to take them off so that the swatches that I show you guys um, don't, don't have two black lines in the middle of it. But Anyway, I'm probably going to go about 15 to 20 minutes longer on the swatches and stuff. And then I'm going to go into an eye look. I'll let you guys pick from the palettes that I show you. And you can pick the colors or whatever. But I'm going to do that. And then I also got these two little pots of, it's called Putty Eye Primer by e.l.f. And one is rosy and one is yellowy, kind of like painterly and um soft ochre in mac paint pot so rude then i'm gonna uh use these on one eye and see because i mix the two colors um i'm gonna see if it works as well as my paint pot so i'm trying to dupe something you guys i'm trying to dupe something i'm gonna take this one out because it's a cheap palette, and I'll do base palettes another time. 
But look, it's Beauty and the Beast. In fact, I want to use it. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, there is a group of these. I think I just have two. They're the Lorac Unzip. So we've got the Lorac Unzip Gold and the Lorac Unzipped. One of these I dropped and broke it. And so when I open them, I'm scared. Not this one. Oh, you guys, these are like beautiful, rosy, uh, so beautiful, rosy, perfect, you know me. Just perfectness. And this must be the one that got broken, so hopefully it won't fall all over the place. Um, and you can tell just by how corrupted the side of it is with color. And they're pretty similar. It's like very, it varies in tone. But I love the light, the light shimmers in this one. And I love the um, mattes in this one. Anyways, I love it all. Isn't that the best though, Erica? Isn't it the best? Like I've said before on one of my videos that if I had this, and one of them is a, a highlight. But you guys know me with my pink blushes. If I had this, it has like a light one, a, a medium one, and a darker one. If I had this, I would need no other blush ever. And this is Lorac, which means you barely use any. Like this would never, ever, I don't think I will ever hit pan on this thing. It's beautiful. And I've been wanting to pull it out. So now I did. It's going in my drawer because I love it. Okay. Let me show you some from Lorac Unzipped is the original. The Lorac Gold came sometime after that. But, oh, the, these shimmers, just wait a minute. I'm going to do the mattes first. I wish I was not so blind. Maybe I'm going to put my glasses on, you guys. Hopefully. Okay. It doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have my light in it, so that's good. Okay. This is unconditional we'll do unspoken unbridled and untamed you guys i was listening to luther vandross before you came i have his music running through my head so you better know that i am going to end up singing luther vandross today sometime Okay, unconditional and unbridled. Wait, this is unspoken. I know it doesn't matter, but you know I have to do things the right way. Unbridled and untamed. Untamed is a shimmer. I didn't realize it until I put it on. It's kind of a satin. And the reason that it's so cool, I don't have the eyeshadow palette. The reason this is so cool is because it's got these beautiful rosy tones. And then it's got all these incredible shimmers that go with it. And I wish you could see how pretty this was. Pick this one. <laughs> when it's time for me to start doing my eyes, pick this one or pick these two. I'm telling you what to pick. You pick what you want, but that's a party. I know. I always, when I, I had the chance to get the the Beauty and the Beast, and I didn't. And I kind of wish I would have. Yeah, the hand thing, I tried. I tried to make it better. But it's just like I am so uncoordinated trying to do it this way. But wait till you see these shivers. Oh, my God. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay. Undiscovered. Unbelievable. Unreal and unattainable uh, look at oh my gosh do you see the kind of beautifulness look at the beautifulness oh okay undiscovered which is kind of a goldy rosy gold where is it okay <laughs> i'm like trying to contort my body okay unbelievable Oh, OMG. And then Unreal. 
<laughs> Whenever eyeshadow makes you do that and say that, you know it's good. When you're just like, <laughs> and unattainable. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm trying to put it at all different angles so that you can actually catch the color. OMG. And my watching this on my screen is so not good, you guys. Because I can't see what you're seeing. Oh, uh, how beautiful are those? <laughs> I love Luther. The one that's going through my head is, Let me hold you tight if only for one night. Let me hold you near to, what is it? Wipe away your fears. It would be so nice if only for one night. Woo! Woo! My friend Matthew has, sings beautifully. He sounds a lot like him. And he sang that to me for my birthday one time. And, uh, Talking about the feels. Okay, so that was the LaRocca Unzipped. This is the LaRocca Unzipped Gold. <sighs> anyway, my favorite Luther Vandross song is called The House Is Not a Home. And I, the, it, it makes me laugh because my first husband, Henry, he says, I like Luther Vandross, but he goes, the guy doesn't know how to end a song. He goes, as soon as you think he's about to finish the song, he, he starts singing again. <laughs> See, that's what I love about, especially a house is not a home. That's what I love about it because he just keeps on going. Are you going to be? Say you're going to be. Are you going to be? Say you're going to be. Well, 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 still in love with me. Yeah. See, so he's, he's like, see, see, you think he's going to stop and then he doesn't. This is undeniable. And this is Unwind. And this is Unedited. These are more brownie. These are, are more brownie and less rosy. That's why I like the other one better. But if I remember correctly, this is Unafraid. If I remember correctly, yeah, ad Adlibs. It's my favorite. Hi, Cheeriness TV. I think your name is Sherry, too. I love Luther. Say that you're going to be still in the When I climb the stairs and turn. See, I wish that we could play and turn the key. I'll still be there saying that you're still in love with me. Anyway, let me stop. Um, oh, these shimmers. I remember these are so gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, my, he used to just say, God, the guy can't finish the song. I'm like, it's so good, though. Okay, unlocked. Oh my goodness, yes. Uninhibited, uninhibited, unlimited, and unpredictable. Woo! Look at you guys. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, especially unlocked. Good Lord. Talk about beaming. Unlocked. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. OMG. Okay. Unlocked, uninhibited, unlimited. These are really peachy golds. And this is so cool on my rough knuckle. Unpredictable. These are pretty, don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> I feel like I'm contorting myself. 
Okay. So that is the Lorac unzipped fold. I know it just seems like they disappeared, huh? But I was telling Lisa before you got here um, that they have had some new stuff. In fact, I got a Lorac palette, a, a holiday palette for my friend Becky for Christmas. So, I don't know. I'm going to stop for a minute and go back up to the top her and see what y'all been saying about me. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to try to dupe something. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll have to report back to you guys next week. How do you guys feel about, because um, like Erica and Lisa were talking about the Beauty and the Beast collection. Are you somebody who is like, if you see a collection, let's say that, Snow White is your favorite, and some company comes out. Here's the first uh, thing. I'm ready to move on to the second. Let's say that that one of your favorite brands comes out with a Snow White collection. Are you that person who looks through it and kind of chooses the things that you know you'll use, or do you pick all of them for the sake of, or buy all of them for the sake of having the whole collection? I used to be the whole collection person, and now I'm the pick what I need person. But I often feel sad um, that <laughs> I often feel sad that I I did not get certain things. Thank you for coming, Nat. She's probably gone now. Um, and just one more Luther thing. Um, in my first wedding, we had Here and Now as one of our one of our wedding songs. I was never able to see Luther in concert. Isn't that so sad? Like, I'm so sad that I never saw him in concert. I would have been that person up on the stage holding on to his leg. That would have been me. I would go, Luther! Yep, I, I never. What about you? Did, have you been able to see him in concert? Just what you'll use. Yeah, I just, obviously my collection is too big. I don't need it all. Okay, next is the Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro. I don't know what number it is. It doesn't even say. Two. <laughs> and the reason I love this one is because it has an awesome silver and it has an awesome navy. So I'll definitely show you those. All right, let's go with plum, navy, charcoal. Those are cool colors and cool gray. And that's what I liked about this one is it has cool, not just cool as in that's cool, but cool as in tonal cool colors. Okay, so plum. Navy looks teal, charcoal, and uh, what else did I choose over here? Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know what else I did, you guys. I'm just oh, my brain, plum and navy and charcoal. And what color is that? Whatever, cool gray. This is taupe. It's taupey. I haven't called Patrick taupey in the longest time. Yeah, Erica took her kids to the Disney store. I would. It would. I. I. I have to admit, I like Disney stuff, but I'm not like where I want everything Disney. I'm just, it's just not that, it's not that big of a deal to me. I do like Little Mermaid. I do like Little Mermaid. Remember we used to, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know why her name keeps coming up today, but my friend Courtney, she's not much anymore. Um, 
one time I was on polo with her and my husband was making fun of us because we were talking about something being taupey, the color being taupey. And he kept going, taupey, taupey, to just being silly. And, um, and so now we call we call them Topi for his nickname for the longest. His his nickname is Swayze because his name is Patrick, but his we called him Topi for the longest. Hi, Mama. My mama here. Look, Mom, Nika's here. Okay, I'm gonna show you Rose and Chrome. These are really pretty. And silver. I use this silver on a for my one of my little gals that I did for prom, did her makeup for prom and Jade, and it was so pretty with the black smoky eye with silver on the inner corner. It was gorgeous. My mama here. My mama here. Okay, rose and chrome and this gorgeous silver. And Jade, that just fell out all over the place. I'm going to put it over here. And Jade. That silver is so pretty. But now, it used to be my favorite silver. But now my favorite silver is um, Cyborg in the ABH. Which one is it? Soul 3 palette. You know, what I was thinking about, I had a hard time coming up with what I was going to do today. I just ran out of ideas. And so that was the Lorac Pro 2, by the way. I ran out of ideas. And so maybe I ought to pull this one over here and show it to you in case you want me to use it. I probably, I will do, that's a face palette. I will do... I think I'm going to do this and one more, and then I'm going to let you guys decide what I'm going to use so I can go ahead and get started on my eye look. Um, completely lost my train of thought. Oh, I thought about just while I was doing this, I thought, you know what I need to do? I need to create my, my Sherry's Favorites palette, like my perfect palette out of the shades out of different palettes that I have. And I thought I'll show you like if I could pull from all these different palettes, which ones would I what shades would I pull from what palettes to create my favorite like my perfect palette. And that the reason I didn't do that today is because that's going to take some time to pull everything and to figure it out. But it may not even be next week. It may be the week after that, depending on how much time I have. So let me show you some of these. These are beautiful. This is the Lorac Luxe Diamond Palette. And they did get a little more creative with um, the packaging of this. But this is a really nice everyday palette. And I use it a lot. I mean, you can see there's dents in quite a few of these, especially the shimmers up top. But anyway, so... My creative wheels are starting to turn again. I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. All right, we got. I'm going to show you Posh and Fifth Avenue. These are the. They have the the mats and the. Um, Shimmers kind of all mixed up in this one. Luxury. And Ruby. Okay. They do fall out. That's why you have to tap your brush if you use a rock. Okay, this is Posh. And this is Fifth Avenue. Yes, I didn't go in order again. This is, uh, yeah, this is Lavish. And this is Ruby. That one didn't look too good. And Ruby. I'm the best watcher ever. Ever. 
La Rock is very consistent with their quality. I don't think there's much. I mean, I think that you pretty much know what you're going to get. And I like that. I like when you know what you're going to get. And there's some beautiful shimmers in here. And I use them a lot. Okay, I'm going to go with Radiant. Ooh, Crystal. And they, some of them are kind of chunky glitter. Some of them are super smooth. Cushion Cut. And Glamorous. Ooh. Yes, they are, because nobody's talking about them. I don't know. You know, when we first, I don't know about you, but when I first started loving makeup, you know, there was La Rock, there was Too Faced, there was, you know, there was like a handful, 10, you know, companies. Now there's all the indie brands. Now there's all the, you know, people who make things that are more, a heck of a lot more affordable. That's, um, <laughs> that's radiant and that's gorgeous. I use that all the time. And this is crystal. This is a beautiful rose gold. And then cushion cut, which is a really warm peachy color. And then glamorous, which is a darker rose gold pretty all of them but i'm sitting here looking at this one and i should have watched it but i'm still going to it's called extravagant it almost looks like it's a gold it almost looks makes me wonder if i just got the ruby color in it i'm talking about that one it's almost like it's got a gold with like a red base or something let me see I just stuck my finger in the black. No, it's a definitely a, a duochrome kind of burgundy and olive green. It's it's interesting for sure. I'll put it right here. But I think, especially with um, La Rock and such basic packaging, it doesn't draw people in. That's why I was kind of excited when I saw that they did a little something, you know? Yeah. But anyway, very beautiful. And I love Lorac for the, like I said, for the fact that you know what to expect, you know, you're going to get Lorac quality every time you buy it. It's not, it's been inconsistent with everything that I bought from them forever. It's been consistent. Okay. We're almost an hour in. And so I'm going to stop and, um, Actually, I lie. I'm going to show one more because this one will be easy to show. It doesn't. It's just beautiful. I love this is where they were trying to do something different. They did an unzipped desert sunset. That's the reason I want, wanted to go ahead and do it because it's an unzipped. And they had several of these. And look at this funkety bendable. Uh -huh. I don't I don't know what the purpose of that would be, but it it's cool looking. It has some texture and it's pretty. And they try to do something different with a little bit, you know, something a little different. Hi, Denise. All right. I'm going to show you a few of these. Of course, the purple super stood out to me in this one. But it is like a sunset. So I'll show you Sandstorm and Joshua Tree and sunset a lot of these are some of them are matte some of them are satins it doesn't really seem like even the, the ones that are shimmers are very shimmery but they're really pretty colors you know it's funny i just noticed up up by the the live button on my thing it has a a little um one of those little radar looking things that show you how how much reception you're getting and it's really low. Are you guys still having, hey, Locke. 
I'm glad you came. So um, I wonder, am I still, are you guys still, am I still pixelated or hanging up or anything like that? This is Sandstorm. And Joshua Tree. And Sunset. And Dunes. The purple is not impressive. Why did you send it back? Because you weren't happy with the quality or because you didn't like the colors or I have to admit, I've hardly used this one. So that is the desert unzip desert sunset. My mouth isn't matching up with my lips. Well, booger. Okay, I'm getting ready to put this down. This is how many I still have left. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm never going to finish doing my palette collection. And the only reason I'm doing it is because of Lisa. <laughs> she would not stop asking me. So these are the ones that we have. These are the ones we have to choose from. The Unzipped Desert Sunset, the La Rock Luxe Diamond Palette, the La Rock Pro 2, the La Rock Unzipped Gold, the La Rock Unzipped, the La Rock uh, Refined Romance, the La Rock Mega Pro 4, and the Laroque Mega Pro. Or just, or I could do a combination of my favorite shades from all of them. I need to go back and read and see if you told me if you got to see Luther in concert. Because if you did, I'm jealous. And also, if your name is Sherry. I'm going to go back and look. I always talk myself out of La Rock palettes, period. I went and, and swatched palettes because they have them at Kohl's. And so I always used to look at them when I was at Kohl's. And I've really, like, I have always kind of swatched them a lot before I bought them. Because they just, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for good packaging. Okay. I'm looking to see if she told me. I don't think you told me. So tell me, is it Sherry? I'm talking to Cheeriness TV. Is it Sherry and did you see Luther? And yeah, a lot of the colors look all the same. That's why I like the unzipped ones that I'm referring to what Lisa said here. Um, a lot of them look the same. There's a lot of repeat shades. I think that's what people's complaint was about Lorac for a long time. But as we went, you know, makeup has evolved into a monster <laughs> you know we used to be waiting for the next release and be and having enough time to get so excited about the next release and you know having time to save for it i have fallout all over my computer i need to wipe it off before it goes down and into anything but anyways um squirrel i think that so much is going on now and there's so much available now that you couldn't buy it all if you wanted to. And so it's just one of those things that I think a lot of the older brands are going to kind of get phased out because they're not keeping up with the amount that's coming out and they're not keeping up with the innovation. You know, people are coming out with really cool things like duochromes and multi-chromes and all those things that are available now. And so, there's a lot of things that are kind of taking the place. 
All right, I'm just looking through and reading all your comments. Yeah, and it definitely in the, you were saying they weren't true to color to you. Um, okay. Okay. So Tanya and Cheeriness TV, I figured that. But for some reason, I in one of Marlo's lives, I thought she was calling you Sherry. So I wanted to make sure. So that's Tanya or Tanya. See, here we go with all these names that, <laughs> I don't know, I get super, well, I'll call you, do you want me to call you Tanya or Tanya, or do you want me to call you Cheery? Um, I get worn out from the amount of releases, and I've just stopped with trying to look at them all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the, that's the reason why I didn't want to put my glasses on, because now i got, now i got glass marks um tanya gotcha okay we got tanya anyways i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use the this little mini blender this it's super dry this is one of my shop miss a ones so i'm going to put some um fix plus on it just to well, I try really hard to remember people to remember people's names. I'm not great at it either, but like I like to be called by name. So I try to do that with other people and I try to say their name right. Cuz I've been called Shirley and and you know Cherie and Shelly. I've been called everything but my name. Okay, so I am going to put the um putty primers on my right eye along with the heartbreaker heartbreak breakup proof good lord breakup proof eyeliner all on my right eye and then i'm going to put the mag paint pots and the it cosmetics on my left eye every time i say left eye i think of tlc <laughs> sherry bloom i love that nickname Okay, so while I'm doing this, you guys talk amongst yourselves and decide what you're going to, what palette you're going to have me use or what palette or what combination of palettes or if you just want me to pull from, I don't know about this. This looks weird. Well, it kind of, I mean, it looks like, it, look, it looks like the... <laughs> what it looks like whenever I put the, put the mech on. So I, the reason I have both is because, you know, my skin color can't match anything. If I put the, this is the reason I do this before my eyebrows because I get it all in my eyebrow. Um, my skin tone doesn't match anything. And so I have to, mix the painterly is too pink the ochre is too yellow it's really about the same it might be a little stickier but i am going to set it just like i always set with just some translucent powder i'm going to set it just like i do But it still feels super tacky. And it might be, that might be it. It might just be like the putty formula. But you can see it does cancel out the discoloration on my eyes. That's what I like about the paint pots is the discoloration. And goes, I can't stand the darkness on my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to go in my left eye with the mix of the painterly and the soft ochre by mac here and now i promise to love faithfully you're all i need here and now I vow to be one 
Pretty. See, they look, I mean, let me set it. They look identical in color when I mix the two. But we'll see. I'll have to report back to you guys next week and let you know if one worked better than the other or if they were comparable with, and I just use this Laura Mercier. Um, I love TLC. I, uh, I've seen TLC like, I don't know, four or five times. They were like an opening act for so many people that I went to see. I think I'm blanking my eyebrows out here. Um, they opened for Mary J. Blige. They opened for um, Boys to Men and New Edition. They opened for, I was going to see Black Street. They opened for them. It's like every concert I went to for the longest, um, they were opening for. So I saw them a bunch and they were so good in concert. I know they would be in some of those old school concerts that are coming back with all the old school people like Salt and Pepper and um, uh, Coolio and all these people that I've seen the combination concerts. They would have been in that. Um, yes, I use I use the P. Louise all the time for um, I use it for cutting my crease almost every time because I really like it. Okay. I'm looking for some direction here. It's really good for a base. I know Marlo really likes it for a base. I don't particularly like it for a base for me. It kind of creases even when I put bless you. Even when I put, uh, even when I put powder over it, it's still, creases my eyeshadow creases and you know it's just everybody has different skin composition if you guys don't decide on a palette i'm just going to pick on myself rude just kidding just joshing So I'm going to put these in my drawer. So I'm excited to see if the staying power works, if it creases as far as the base is concerned. Um, I've used the MAC paint pots forever. Um, the options are Refined Romance, La Rock Unzipped. Pick this one, pick this one. <laughs> La Rock Gold. Lorac Pro 2. I guess I don't have to say Lorac for every one of them. Unzip Desert Sunset. Lux Diamond Palette. Mega Pro 4. And Mega Pro. I still have like six, eight more. The Rock Pro 2 got a boat. Or is that an exclamation mark? The Rock Pro or the Rock Pro 4? Oh, you're talking about the gray one. Okay, I need it. Everybody, Marla got a vote. Mama got a vote. Nika got a vote. Everybody got a vote. Gotcha. I'll sit here and hydrate myself while I'm waiting for you guys to decide and do some. The first time I did a um, palette collection with swatches, somebody said, why didn't you show the used uh, makeup wipes? And I was like, I didn't know I was supposed to. Okay. Okay, Lorac 2. Unzip Lorac 2. Lorac 2 has two votes. Erica says, listen to your heart. Okay. 
Look at the lashes I'm gonna use. Ah, aren't they pretty? They are the Kiss Mink Effect in the style Eris. Aren't they pretty? I already cut them and everything. Yesterday I saw a brush. This is a BH Cosmetics blender and I've used it forever and I like it's all fluffy and big and I love it so much. But I saw an elf but an elf brush that looked almost like this at Walmart the other day. Hi Dana. Okay, Erica, you're gonna have to be a tiebreaker. Or my mama or Nick Nika or somebody. I hope I'm saying Nika's name right. Or Tanya, somebody has to be a tiebreaker here. Rock two, okay. You guys would pick my least favorite one. Thank you so much. That'd probably make you happy, wouldn't it? Because Marlo and Lisa both liked for me to do things that make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. I am doing just fine. How about you? I'm getting ready to do some makeup on my eye bulbs. It's a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. It is a beautiful day. Okay, I have got to put these somewhere where I don't put them back in the container so that I can remember which ones I showed you and which ones I didn't. Okay, look. Oh, let me knock everything over in the meantime. Thanks for making me uncomfortable. I appreciate it. But the good news is I usually make something beautiful out of being uncomfortable so hopefully I can do that with this I'm gonna look it over and try to decide what I'm gonna do with it while you guys unless somebody comes and saves the day hint hint mama Tanya and this is the um, makeup proof whatever blah, blah, blah. breakup proof makeup proof oh my gosh I'm so glad you guys love me because my brain does not work on my best day. My brain does not work. Oh, Lisa, I wanted to tell you that I pulled this up. I pulled this out and I have started using it again and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, Dana, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're okay. That makes me sad. Well, I will be praying for you, sister. You t you take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Oh, I hate to hear that. I really like it. Um. I think in the winter, winter time, it probably wouldn't be heavy enough for me because I like a really thick cream, like the um, confidence in a cream, but for summer, it's going to be perfect. Well, you take care of yourself, sister. Take care of yourself. You guys, I don't like this one. Uh, did you know that when kids are whining, However long they hold out, the last the last sound is how irritated they are. Just in case you didn't know, here's some second grade teacher insight for you. I don't want to. Uh, if they hold it out a long time. Or if they hold the S word on the word sucks. This sucks. Uh. <laughs> Ab, fab. Okay, Denise says gold palette. So we have one unzipped, one gold, and one Lorac Pro, unless Lisa changes her vote. <laughs> okay. Is that what you want, Lisa? Do you want uh, 
the rug to? Because I need to get started. I'm looking at this one. Okay. I might just be. I, I see two that might look kind of cool. I'm not going to use that silver though. Hmm. I'm feeling kind of taupey. <laughs> right, exactly, Tanya. Yes, what, Lisa? Yes, the Lorac too. Are you gonna be? Say you're gonna be. Are you gonna be? Say you're gonna be. Well, 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 well. Still in love with me. Say you're gonna be in love with me. I want you and need you to be. Yeah. Still in love. Okay, we're going for La Rock too. Ain't gonna get my way. Mm, mm. Rude. It's actually really cute. Lisa made me watch the video from Allie. Oh, why can't I ever say, or I can't remember how to, Glines, Gines. Why can't I say her name? Allie. And she was so cute. She's laughing the whole time. I know, but we still have Marlo and Lisa with the Lorac Pro, too. Okay, but I'm not going to use the blue. And the reason I'm not going to use the blue is because it's not a true navy. Whenever you put it on, it looks teal. That's why. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, here I go. You're not going to, you're going to be surprised that I went this direction because I hardly ever use colors like this, but it's just, it's calling out to me. So we're just going to go with it. I'm going to go uh, along my brow bone with buff. I need to kind of clean that up because it's funky from getting too happy with the, with the eye base. And I'm just going to put this along my brow bone. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. My eyebrows are covered with eye base. It's cute. But not really. I think I'm going to take my um, eyebrow gel and go back over it. Maybe that'll darken it back up. Yeah, that worked just fine. Well, boo. I'm giving it the main teacher look. Stop it. All right. I am going to start with light brown for a transition shade, which looks like that. I don't know. The um, elf putty side looks and feels a lot tackier. Then the Mac side, the Mac side feels very dry in comparison. Is it better now? I know it's frustrating when it does that, when you're trying to listen to somebody and watch somebody. It's irritating when it lags like that, but there's like literally nothing we can do about that. It's usually not even on our side of things. It's usually 
I mean, because I am literally, my router, hi, Daddy, my router is right there. Are you guys in the same room, Mom? I miss y'all. So I'm just putting this all the way across. I finally decided that, like, if I'm ever going to do a really elaborate eye look on a live, I'm probably going to come with one of my eyes already done because there's just, it just, I don't think people understand how much time those cut creases and, and like, especially elaborate with like cut creases with glitter and all that jazz, how long that takes. I know this is like, I guess I'm not from California, so I don't know about any of that stuff. I just like to do festival looks. Are they even having Coachella and all those music festivals this year? I haven't heard a thing about them, but I love to do festival looks. And I got some face jewels to do one. So I kind of am wondering when Coachella even is, if they're even going to have it. I thought it was this time of year. Well, it looks to me, I think I'm in a mirror image here. Yeah. Looks to me like they both are, I mean, I'm able to blend out just fine over both of them. My husband is watching some game show. Do you guys like game shows? I don't I don't like game shows. I really don't. I like singing competition shows like American Idol and The Voice because I'm just a music junkie. So obviously those appeal to me. But like regular game shows, I just am not about it. And he just puts it on the the game show network and just lets it stay there. I'm not complaining about what he watches. I'm just saying I do like cash cab. That's fun because I usually know the answers to those questions. It makes me feel smart. <laughs> it makes me feel smart. Okay, so that's the beginning with light brown. Now I'm going to go into cool gray, which is that taupey gray color. Taupey, taupey, taupey. I know, Erica, I can't wait someday for you just to sit down and take like two hours to do an eye look and just, just go, go to town. I like Cash Cab. Okay, so I'm going in with this cool gray, this taupey gray. Ooh, I like that color. But I am tapping my brush off on this one. I don't watch TV very much, period. I do watch Netflix on occasion. Marlo will have something to say about me and my Netflix. Yep. When is that coming to America? When does that come on? I can't wait to see that. That's going to be awesome. Whenever I had just graduated high school, um, I went to visit my friend in California and we went and saw the Arsenio Hall show. It was so awesome. <laughs> it was like a Tuesday or something. So the guests were not the, like, you know, not as good as they would be on, on Fridays. But um, the guy who did the voice of Roger Rabbit was there. David Hasselhoff, the guy from um, Knight Rider, and then uh, a rap group called Boogie Down Productions was there. And the cool part is that Ice T was in the audience. I was like, "There's Ice T!" Oh my god! And I was so embarrassed because you know how they have the people who have the who come and warm up for the you know they warm you up before Arsenio comes out 
came and stuck a mic in my face and told me to do a rap and I did some cheesy rap. I can't even remember. It was so dumb. And then here I, and then it wasn't long after that he introduced Ice T and Ice T was probably like, look at this white girl trying to rap. <laughs> anyway, I was embarrassed that I rapped really white girlish in front of Ice T. It must be really warm outside because it's starting to get hot in here. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was already out, so I need to go watch it. I thought it was just on Prime. I need to go watch it. That's one of those movies that I can watch over and over and over again and never get tired of it. It was fun. And I also got to meet um, Ellen DeGeneres. It was before she was famous, famous. Um, she was on a show called Open House, and she was really funny. And we ran into uh, Whoopi Goldberg. And just on the Paramount, we were having a tour, and they let us walk through, and they were filming Ghosts. This is how long ago this was. They were filming Ghosts. And um, <laughs> yeah, I used to watch Godzilla with my brother Roger. The one where they're like, the mouths are going, blah, 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 and then they're like, no. <laughs> anyway, um, I was waiting. I wanted to accidentally run it. I mean, I was glad that I was really starstruck by Whoopi Goldberg, but. Um, I got really, I really wanted to see Patrick Swayze and they were also, um, filming Cheers, the sitcom. So I was like, let me run into one of the people from Cheers. I really wanted to go see the filming of Cheers, but the way that that worked, just like with Arsenio on Paramount, um, studios, you had to you had to stand in line for like ever and you may or may not get um, tickets even after you stay in, stand in line all day. Um, I was so confused. It took me a minute to figure out who she was because you know how she usually has her hair in braids or dreads and that's what I, that's how I was used to seeing her, you know, and I was all just mesmerized by her because one of my favorite movies is The Color Purple, and I just love that movie. So anyway, in, in Ghost, she had her hair all long and straight, and I had never seen her with that kind of hair. And so I took me a minute to figure out who it was. So I was like, you know, staring at her like a ding dong. And um, yeah. So, okay. I am going to go ahead and put cool gray on my lower lash line and blend it out with the light brown and so that I can have so my lower lash line will be done. So it was interesting to we ran into one of the guys who was a bad guy on The Goonies, that movie, The Goonies. I loved that movie when I was a kid. I don't, I can't remember the name of the guy. But he was a bad guy on Goonies. Well, I was just like fresh out of high school. So seeing stars and stuff like that, going, you know, to the Walk of Fame and all those things were like so important to me at the time. Now, I, I really, I really could care less if I'm being honest, I could care less about all that stuff. They're just people just like we are. And I will just leave it at that. Now, I would, I think if I want, if I was going to meet anybody that's famous, it would be a music person, you know, it would be a, a singer. Let me make sure I don't need to 
the rock is you definitely need to keep it if you have your makeup on your face you definitely have to um, make sure it's not dropping all over your face okay I am now going to use my finger and go into chrome because that is such a cool taupey shimmer I oh, hope Bruno Mars uh, I love me some Bruno Mars Lisa is obsessed with Bruno Mars obsessed I did what, Mom? Love Bruno Mars. It's your pinky ring up to the moon. What y'all trying to do? Okay, love you, Marlo. Thank you for coming. Hi, grandson. I've met a lot of famous people. Are you talking about Wayne Newton? I met Wayne Newton with my mama. My mama is a Wayneyac. My mama is obsessed. I said I wasn't going to use that silver, you guys, but I think that silver is probably going to look really pretty if I put it on my inner with this steel kind of gun metal color. Love you, Marlo. I think I'm going to. I'm going to use the MAC 242 after. I'm going to go in with my finger then go in with my finger first and then if I need to clean it up oh you guys I painted my color I painted my fingernails um, Alice in Wonderland blue how pretty how pretty is it it makes me happy What are you guys going to cook today? I always ask that because I usually cook on Sundays. I don't cook very often. Like really cook. I took out some hamburger meat. I think I'm going to make um, a meatloaf. And I'm going to make taco meat because I got these little tortilla bowl things that I thought would be awesome to make like little taco salads. So I think I'm going to do... Um, make meatloaf just for later just as food prep and then have taco salads for dinner tonight i'm sorry i keep messing with my nose but my nose itches it's like there's a hair on there that i can't see okay i'm going to put silver on one side and chrome on the other and kind of go back and forth between the two and blend these two colors together on that seam right there. Now I got 24 karat magic in my brain. <laughs> Girl, what is a taco in a bag? That sounds interesting. But can you imagine this silver with like a black smoky eye? It kind of looks like this, except she had an extreme, um, really dark black I put in the outer corner for the little gal I did for prom. It was so pretty. I feel like I have fallout all over my face. Oh my gosh, with Doritos. Ah, that would be so yum. That would be so yum. What a good idea. 
it would be like a what are those called taco loco tacos whatever Dorito loco tacos at taco bell it would be like that yum what a good idea i would have never ever thought of that it is the best but you don't have to earn it you do earn it you don't need to do anything more than what you're already doing I don't know if I like those or not. Okay, I'm going to go in with, let's see, beige. Oof, I'll use that for the inner corner. That is brightness. That is a good idea. That would be an awesome thing to do for a classroom party. Wow, that is bright. Right. Okay, guy. That's it. What do you think? It's really, I don't know if you can even see. I'm not very close today. What do you think? It's very. You know, to me, it's like, because it doesn't have any color, but that's my, I didn't, I didn't put it in there, but I really like the uh, Toby part of it. It'll look good whenever I put the lashes and all that. Hey, happy birthday on Wednesday, and you need to get yourself a cake. I mean, what birthday is the only ex time you have an excuse to, to have cake? Do it. Okay, I am going to go in with the heartbreak, whatever this is called. <laughs> the breakup proof. Why can't I get that? I'm just going to call it the heartbreak, and hopefully it won't be a heartbreak um, eyeliner. And then I'll show you the brush tip. That's the reason why I got this. And we'll see how it do. Yeah, it's a cool tone eye. Well, happy birthday. I hope you had a good one. Mmm. Stop it with the cake. Stop it with the cake, Denise. You're making me want cake. Okay. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm about to get up all up in this mirror. And get my eyeliner on. See how this do. Hmm. It don't want to come out. But it is brand new. So maybe I just got to get a good one. Come on with it. I never have cake, and I actually, at my husband's request, bought a cake mix for a confetti cake, and I still haven't made it. I just can't seem to get, I don't even have time to get my regular stuff done, much less something extra. I don't know about this, you guys. It feels really dry. Let me... Let me shake my arms and watch them keep shaking even after I'm done shaking. Let me shut up. Okay, here it comes. All right, that did it. Here it comes. Good. At least I know if it gets feeling dry. Like, you know how after you've had eyeliner open for a while and you've gone over a bunch of powder it'll go dry. So it's good to know that when I put the lid on and shake it up, it, it'll get started again.
Not a bad wing. Yeah. If I'm going to eat chocolate cake, I want German chocolate cake and I want the um, pecan and coconut frosting. Like that's my, that's my favorite cake. If we're going to talk about chocolate cake, my favorite cake period is my baby food carrot cake. I make carrot cake with baby food carrots and it is the moistest, most delicious cake in the world. And then of course, homemade cream cheese icing. It is bomb. Okay. What do you think? Pretty good wing, huh? With that. It's so good. Okay. I do not know why I am so flipping thirsty today. But I am. Okay, now it cosmetics. Superhero. Oh, this is a terrible angle. Get all up in this mirror because I'm blind. I really need to, number one, not talk when I'm doing eyeliner, but I need to get an eye exam this summer. Hush it up, computer. You being rude. Okay, Denise, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. We love you. Ow. Poke myself in the eyeball. My husband's watching Cash Cab now. <laughs> See you. Boom. All right. Mascaras. I've been trying to use up some mas mascaras, especially when I know I'm going to put lashes on. I've been trying to use up mascaras that I've had for a while. This one is Ico Fat Brush Mascara. I'll still use my MAC on my lower lashes, but I just use this. That I mean, I'm using mascaras that I don't love because I don't want to just throw them away. And I guess I could give some of them away. But I'm like, if I'm going to do a giveaway, I want to give away some good stuff. But anyway, so I'm just using, this is not my favorite. But I'm using it because I know I'm putting lashes on. And I'm just using it to darken up my natural ones. I know you guys starting with all the cake talk. I might have to make that confetti cake. Like, if I'm going to have cake, I want German chip. My husband won't eat nuts or coconut or anything like that. So, he's a finicky child. But you know how mascara is when you first open it? It's always kind of wonky. And if you give it a little while to dry out, sometimes it gets better. I just have too many that I need to be getting through to give one a whole lot of attention. 
Lisa, what did you buy at the store yesterday that you could make or that you could eat for a treat? Lisa, did her, her birthday, where in the world did Christmas and birthday coming from? Anyway, she did her grocery shopping yesterday. Good Lord. And this is my Mac Extended Play, Mac Giga Black Extended Play something or other. Best lower lash mascara of life. Nothing sweet. Why? I know. I should have. I should have told her since she was giving me such a hard time. And Natisha's not here today. But I hope she loves it. She wouldn't have gotten it already anyway. I just sent it on Friday. I think she'll probably get it Monday or Tuesday. Because I sent it priority. So, yeah. I decided that I was talking to Eric about it yesterday. I think I'm going to subscribe to Bo BoxyCharm again. Not this month because I'm not interested in what they have. I did. I did. got one. And I didn't like it. I, like, literally did not like it. I could not believe that I didn't like it, but I don't. I took, like, two or three drinks, and I was like, ugh. It's just not my not my zhuzh. Last night, I was trying to type out not my zhuzh to Lisa, and how the heck would you spell zhuzh? J-Z zhuzh. Mm -mm. Since my eye, since I'm like underwhelmed by my eye, I'm going to have to put on some really bright lipstick or something. I think I'm going to put on, I really kind of want to put on uh, Kiss and Tell by Jar Cosmetics because it's so bright. OMG, it's beautiful. Let me see if I can find it. Or I could do, ooh, I could do um, Underground. I could do, I bought this for you, Lisa, right? Underground. This is not Underground. I am so freaking blind. <laughs> not my Jewish. How about this? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking underground. If I can find it. I think I bought underground for you, didn't I? Lisa? There it is. That might be cool. I asked her and she spelled should. This might be... Yes, this is going to be perfect. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do underground. Now, can I find the um, lip liner that goes with it is the question. There it is. Hey! If you guys want to buy Jar Cosmetics, you should use my code, SHAREBEAR. And get 30% off. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips before I do my um, eyelashes. I don't know why, but I like to do this. It is a jarred lippy. This is underground. It is gray, but purple at the same time. It's crazy. I love it. It's so different. It's so neat. And I'm glad it has a matching um, lip liner because it's a really unusual color. It's kind of the same color as the taupey gray that I was putting on my eyes.
I didn't do a very good job on the bottom here. Okay. Yeah. It is. There's definitely lilac in there, but it's just different and weird. And I love it. <laughs> different and weird and I love it. Okay, that's it. I don't know. I look weird to myself for some reason, but I'm going to roll with it because we've been here for an hour and 45 minutes, and so I need to let you guys go. This is a long live, and I don't want to be disrespectful of your time. I appreciate you being here. Okay, let me get... I know some people say, gosh, that's a long live. And other people say, gosh, it wasn't long enough. So I don't know. I figure an hour, if I'm shooting for an hour and it's an hour and 45 minutes, I need to wrap it up. Hello. I think your name is Renee. Hi, Renee. We did some um, palette collection stuff, which was all uh, Lorac. And they chose for me to do an eye look with Lorac 2. So that is what I've done. And I am all I have left is to put lashes on. Bottom what? And so I am putting on the Eris lash from Kiss Mink Effects or something like that. I just thought it was a beautiful style and I think it's going to, since I'm kind of underwhelmed with my eye look, I think this will make it a lot better. What are you cooking? I think I'm going to, I know I'm going to have taco salads, but I am going to make a meatloaf for later in the week. Because my kitchen's going to get ripped. You want me to put liner in my lower lash line? Is that what you're saying? In my, lo in my lower water line? Hmm. I don't know if I even have anything that would be a pop of color. I'll look. Burgundy would be pretty. Pretty eyelash. Woo. Are you outside my door? Thought my husband rolled up. Cheesy grits with gravy and lamb chops on top. Mmm. Get it, girl. Oh, these are so pretty. I don't know why I keep saying OMG. I've been saying that a lot lately. Like a little teenage girl. There is a very strange sound coming from my living room. <gasps> so 
sounds like pills pouring out. These are pretty. Look, guys, they're pretty. Okay, let me go see if I can find a pop of color for Lisa. Don't you dare fall off of there. Hmm. This is my eyeliner box. Let's see what we got. Oh, I do have a burgundy by La Rock. <laughs> Maybe it is me. Hi. It's kind of brownish, though. It looks brown to me. Hmm. I have, I have a purple one by Urban Decay, but it is gone and dried up, apparently. Thank you. I guess I'm going to have to go with this because the other thing that would even be close is I don't know if this is going to show up. I'm trying, Lisa. It is not showing up at all. And I even warmed it up on my hand here. I'm trying to put it underneath my lash line, but it is dry AF. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I do have fallout smears on my nose. The rock is just dangerous. So I'm going to put this in my empties because it's KO'd. Okay. There you have it. <laughs> Lorac. They picked my least favorite Lorac palette. They like to torture me. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. I want some, you guys made me hungry. I want some cheesy grits. I want some, some chocolate cake. This is going to draw my eyeliner into a funky business. So I'm going to let it dry real good. And then I have to fix my eyes, but I'm just going to talk to you guys. I'll, I'll fix it. And um, anyway, can you tell, I know I'm not very close, but can you tell any difference between the two eyeliners? I'm also Working on some dupes, Renee, to get you caught up. And on this eye, I have um, the Wet n' Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner, which is a brush tip, which is what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. And the It Cosmetics um, Superhero. So... I can't see any, you know, marked difference, like one is blacker than the other or anything like that. So, anyway, thank you, Marjorie. I am so ready to eat something. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm probably going to take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. And I also use some um, Elf Putty eye primers um, and on one eye and on this eye I have the putty primers on this eye I have um, MAC paint pots. So I better wipe this eyeliner off my hand or it's going to be there for eternity. That's one part of having, you know, old lady wrinkly eye eye lids is that sometimes when you put eye or eyelashes on and the glue dries it like draws it your skin just enough to make the um 
your your eyeliner line look all wonky and then when you take pictures of your eye look it looks like you don't know how to put on eyeliner rude so I let it dry really good and um, I'm gonna fix it now, you know if I eat something I'll be ready for a nap I am a Sunday afternoon napper and I have been such a good girl all week I have not had a nap after work all week Come on now. It has a weird white. I need to put some mascara. You know how sometimes when you put on falsies, the glue, you can't get the, like the original glue off of it from the packaging? I can't wait to see. I have... I wish I could reach over there. I will knock everything over. I have like 14 different styles of messy buns because I have like my real hair. I have three real hairs. So therefore I have to wear little hair pieces and things just to make it look like I have a bun. Like I have any hair at all. Okay. I'm going to go over my lash band and then a little Mascara, I shouldn't have done that. That was the wrong one. Put a little mascara on to mesh these at the base and call it a day. All right, so I don't know if I... Did you just stop using them because you could, it always messed up your lash line? Why did you stop using them? Your picture looks like you're a gorgeous lady. But yeah, if you don't let it dry... It will make your life, your, it'll look wonky every time. I don't want to adult today. I am, I'm on strike from adulting. All I've done all week is adult and I don't want to now. I basically just go back in Renee and, and fix it. Probably a good... Two, three minutes of dry time for you to see to see where it's gonna end up and then just go back and clean up your line make your line again I am adulting is overrated adulting is overrated completely overrated but um yeah, I'm going to take some pictures of this and post it on Facebook and say this is my final look. And then I'm going to go because we're pushing two hours here. And um, are you telling me to stop fussing? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me like that? Tell me to stop fussing. I can't stop fussing. Mm. I am a brat. Just saying, but um, yeah, I'm gonna hang up some clothes that I washed yesterday. I didn't take out the dryer. I'm gonna cook something. I already did it. I already did it. Mac extended. It. I did it. My husband is coughing. What should I sing by Luther? Let me hold you tight, if only for one night. Let me hold you near to wash away your fears. It would be so nice, if only for one night. Look it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at. <laughs> anyway, I already did it, I promise. <laughs> I am not on key at all. <laughs> but I think he's done. Anyway, hang up some clothes. Going to, I have to make a lunch. Um, I'm going to cook something. If my hamburger meat, it's going to happen after I take a nap, though. So, because, you know, I need to give my hamburger meat time to thaw. That's my excuse. <laughs> That's my excuse. But A House Is Not A Home will be my favorite song forever. A room is still a room, even if there's nothing there but gloom. I am so off. Oh, but a room is not a house, and a house is not a home when the two of us are far apart and one of us has a broken heart now and then i see your face no now and then i say your name and suddenly your face appears but it's just a crazy game when it ends it ends and darling have a heart don't let one mistake keep us apart i'm not meant to live alone turn this house into a home and when i climb the stairs and turn the key oh please be there saying that you're still in love with me okay i'm done sorry that song Anyway, let me stop it. I'm going to get a copyright strike. <laughs> I'm going to if I keep doing this. But anyways, I love that song so much. I love that song so much. I love him so much. I'm so sad that he's gone. But I, every once in a while, I just have... <laughs> I don't know if anybody else knows that song, but it is my favorite Luther song. I am I love Luther. Luther is one of my favorite of all time. Him and James Ingram are my guys. Like whenever I feel like listening to love music, I bet you there's like thousands of babies that were born because of Luther Vandross and James Ingram. I bet you. I bet you. Okay, I'm going to go. I will holler at those of you who I holler at outside of YouTube um, on Polo here in a little bit, but I am going to take some pictures and I'm going to find a snack. I'm not going to eat a lot. I'm just going to find a snack so that, um, you know, I don't keel over before I cook in two hours or so. Well, thank you so much for being here, Renee. It was fun getting to know you a little bit better. And I appreciate it so much. And I'm going to have to go check out your channel. I, I um, sub to all you guys from Marlo's Live. And I have gone to a few people's channels. Um, oh, my gosh. Kara. Beauty and the Frizz. I really have enjoyed her channel. And so I got to start. I'm just a little bit out of time. I'm checking everybody out. So I'll drop by your channel and watch some of your videos. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. And I'll see you next Sunday at 1130 a.m. Central Time, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If I can figure out all the palettes for my perfect palette, if I have the time, you know, it'll be fabulous. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. <laughs> I was about to reach up and touch my screen. <laughs> I'm 
so used to using a smart board. I was going to reach up and touch my screen and my screen doesn't touch. All right. <laughs> Bye guys.